Good morning and welcome to Odoo Live. My name is Noel, Community Manager here at Odoo San Francisco. Today I'm joined by Menendra, one of our business, business advisors, to talk about Odoo Blog and sharing your stories online. Welcome, Menendra. Thank you, Noel. Thank you for that introduction. Certainly. Uh, as always, with any of our webinars, please feel free to put any questions or comments you might have in the chat so we can answer them at the end during our Q&A session. And if you showed up late or would like to watch this presentation again, Anytime, day or night, use this same link that you're using to watch us. Uh, that you're using to watch us now, and uh, watch it whenever it's convenient for you after we finish live here today. Uh, so, without further ado, I'm going to throw it over to you, Manendra. Take it away. Thank you again, Noel. Certainly. Uh, today we will be covering blogs on our website module. Uh, the blog is a very useful marketing tool in any kind of business these days. Uh, obviously, we know the advent of social media and getting your message out there is, has a great deal of uh, impact if you deliver that message properly and you optimize your message well. So uh, Odoo has the capability to do that, and we will be going over that feature in our website today. So if we go over to our website module, we will see that this is our basic setup of any app uh, in our system. You'll see the app name here and then your sub-menu items across the top. We're going to focus on blogs today and I will cover a few things after the fact just to show how to basically optimize your blog post so that it reaches the greatest audience that you have. Um, so now we're going to create a new blog post and it's as simple as hitting the create button in any one of our apps. Most of the time you'll see a either save or edit up here when you're actually creating a record and when you create it you click the create button. So it's going to give you the option to pick which blog you want to post on. You can have multiple blogs in our system and it's as simple as creating and editing anything as far as blogs, inventory items, whatever it is in whichever app you're in when you're in Odoo. So for the purpose of this demo, we're going to go into our blog and I'm going to call this my business blog post. Um, and obviously this is a demo, so I'm basically putting a simple title and we're going to say this is a way to increase ad sales. Oops sales on your website. And you can add tags, which allow for later on, you can optimize these tags as well in the SEO optimization when you're going to be pushing this specific blog post. So you can put whatever you want here. Obviously, this acts as a um, filtering as well as a, as a search item later on. So for this, we're going to put business we're going to put, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, revenues and uh, sales. And it's going to be posted on the website. So that's where that is published. And then we can also set up a publishing date. So if you don't want to set it up today, you don't want to do it live, you can set it up for maybe in, let's say, five minutes. We're going to post this. Uh, it's 11.03 right now. Well, let's say we're going to post at 11.05. And then we click out of this. And when we, when you want to publish anything on your website, you're going to have this link. So the connectivity of Odoo is based upon the relations that we've built in the system. And so when you see these soft buttons up here, that means that it connects to some other portion. So the blog feature of the website will allow you to publish when you click this button. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And when it says publish, it will this, it will take you to the actual blog post, obviously. And when you want to write, it's as simple as starting to post something about, oops, we're going to have to edit that first, obviously. We're going to start writing. And you can say whatever you want here. And this is the post about my business. Now, the great thing about our system is also that you can drag and drop your to design your blog post. So basically, you can just push this in right here, have a catchy headline up here, make it look really nice, design it so that it is catching to the eye. And 
great thing about our system is also that you can put a Facebook page. So not only add your blog, but also uh, advertise your other social media as well. So you get likes there. Um, you can have a rating system on the quality of the blog. So you have a live view of how people are perceiving your your uh, images and your messages to them. Um, obviously, you can share these systems and you would have to configure this on the back end, um, but it's fairly simple when you configure your website. So once these links are in, when you, <clears throat> excuse me, when you slide this in, at any given point, you can click on any one of these buttons and it will take you to other social media that you are associated with. So this is a basic view of how to create a blog post. And ultimately, what does this lend itself to, right? So obviously we know that in this day and age, you want to be able to share your message and make sure that it has impact. But what's going to bring somebody to your blog post as opposed to the hundreds of others that are out there? Once you save this in and once it gets posted on our website, and let's just say we're going to publish it now, right? So now this is viewable on our website and it has these tags. The thing about uh, having a, an impactful blog post is one, obviously you have to have a good message and you have to have certain keywords that, that pop. So when people search them on a search engine, they show up. But there are ways that Odoo has integrated certain features that allow you to take those keywords and basically make sure that they get searched and found easier. So we have a tab called Promote on our website, which allows you to optimize the SEO. And here you can put a short description and put in business blog post. And then add in the keywords. So you're going to say this is business. And then it automatically gives you related keywords that you can then add into your search. So this is a bad example, obviously, because there's cards, casual insider, casual women, which has nothing to do with what we're talking about as of now, but you can add your own. So we're going to add revenues. We're going to add sales. Sales. Where'd it go? Oh, there we go. We're going to add sales and various other keywords that whatever that is pertinent to your specific post. So this allows you then to be searched on an SEO search engine very, and it, it, you're basically doing the optimization by doing, by adding in these words. And so when you write these posts and you want them to be searched properly, this is the way Odoo allows you to do that without having to pay somebody else to do it. Um, and it's fairly simple, as you can see. You click a simple button and then you can add various images as well for social media and <clears throat> more shares. And so it makes it very streamlined and very easy to use. Now, this is pretty much the, the feature that is the blog, but the website is actually a very robust piece of our system as a whole. And you can ultimately create a business and sell and create revenue and create buzz for whatever, for, for all, all intents and purposes, just with our website app alone. Um, so if anybody has any questions regarding anything else, I would love to answer them. Uh, well, it looks like as of right now, people uh, might still uh, might still be waking up, perhaps. Uh, but yeah, no, as of right now, nobody has left any any comments or anything in the chat. Um, so I mean, uh, it's all it's all you. I'll, we can give people a moment to uh, uh, gather their thoughts and ask any last minute questions they might have. Um, in the meantime, I will take this opportunity to remind folks that if they do have any questions or uh, comments about this webinar or perhaps more. Uh, other topics, they can always send us an email to webinars at odoo.com or if they want to get in touch with you specifically, Menindra, what's your email address? My email address is mip at odoo.com and uh, you can reach me by email or mail, or mail, I'm sorry, <laughs> uh, by phone. My phone number is 650-447-7570 if you would like to have a quick chat about the website or any other module in our system. Um, we are obviously a very robust system, so this 
module connects to other things and it can streamline pieces of your business that you need help with very simply. So I uh, would love to have a conversation with you if you are, if you have any questions. Great. Uh, well then, yeah, it doesn't look like uh, we have any real questions at the moment. So, I mean, uh, I guess we'll take this opportunity to thank everyone uh, for joining us today. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so we can continue making these webinars for you all. Uh, and uh, don't forget that we're, uh, now that we've unveiled Odoo version 12, the Odoo tours will be starting up again, I believe in November. So check out all of that information. You can find it all at Odoo dot com slash events uh do you know if you're going to be going to any in the near future menendra uh i don't know yet but i'm sure we have many we have many that are coming up so i will be going to some at some point um and they're going to be all over the u.s right so. that is that is correct yes all over the u.s all over the world even right, so if, uh, right. uh u.s canada mexico i mean yeah all in latin america as well um so then yeah if there's nothing else to add menendra you got anything uh, well, I could go on, but um, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I mean, I... Very good. Yeah. All right. Well, then, in that case, this is Odoo Live signing off. We'll see you all next time. Thank you.